Hey, in this video, we are going to prepare a three phase controlled rectifier. So let's start with the blank canvas. First of all, we're supposed to bring a AC voltage source. And for that, we'll go to library and in library, seam caps in that power system, in that specialized technology. And in that, uh, we have varieties of sections. And in these varieties of sections, we'll go to electrical sources. Here it is. So in electrical sources, we'll bring controlled voltage source, uh, sorry, we'll take a three phase source. You can directly take a single phase source and make it to three phase source. But here in this video, I'm taking a three phase source. And then we'll go to elements and we'll take series RLC branch. Once we get that, then we'll move towards the power electronics device that we want to use for this and that is thyristor we'll use thyristor once we have that then we'll go to measurement block and from here we'll use one multimeter and then we'll have a three phase measurement block and finally we'll go for scope so we'll add scope so i think majority of the things we have got here now we just need to arrange it in appropriate manner so now i'm going to prepare the circuit so you just observe it Okay, so our circuit is almost ready and now we are going to add a power GUI block. This block is really very important for simulation and you always need to use this power GUI block. If you want to know that what exactly the requirement of this power GUI block, then you can refer my another video. Now we are going to generate pulses for all the six switches and for that we are going to use pulse generator so let's get it so this is our pulse generator now in order to generate the pulses for all these six switches what is the exit sequence in which you are required to generate the pulse so for example if we are taking pulse at zero degree then switch one we will fire at zero degree switch six after 60 degree switch 3 after 60 degree switch 2 after 60 degree switch 5 after 60 degree and switch 4 after 60 degree so there are total 360 degree in one cycle and we have six switches so 360 divided by six switches so we'll gap so we'll get a gap of 60 degree so after every 60 degree we'll fire the switch but the switching sequence would be like this T1, T6, T3, T2, T5 and T4. So now let me arrange the pulse generator for all the six switches. First we'll start with this. Amplitude 1, time period would be 0 0.02 second. Pulse width is 5%, this much is enough. If you want to go for 10%, that much is also enough. And now here I'm going to write the equation to convert the phase delay seconds into the degree right so a into 0 0.02 divided by 360 so this is the equation so after s1 we supposed to go for switch number 6 so we'll name it as s6 let's connect it but what is the sequence we supposed to turn it on after 60 degrees so this is a is our firing angle so what we'll do we'll add 60 degree to it right after switch 6 we should go for switch 3 that is after 60 degree so after 60 degrees 120 then we should go for switch s2 so that is after 60 degree 
so that is 180 degree and here you will get one verification check that is the switch s1 we are starting at 0 degree right it is at 0 degree and switch s2 we are starting at 180 degree right so switch s2 we are turning on at 180 degree so it should be a gap of 180 degree in single lag because if we turn on switch 2 device before 180 degree what will happen there is a possibility to get a short circuit in between this lag so at least a gap of 180 degree should be maintained between the two switches of same lag now after s2 we'll go for s5 right and we'll add a, another 60 degree to it so after 180 it should be 240 and after s5 we should go for s4 so for s4 we'll add the gap of another one sorry another 60 degree so it will become 300 degree right so i think gate pulse of all the switches is ready and now we are supposed to go for measurement of voltage and current so here we'll take a branch voltage right we want to measure branch voltage okay this shows the error the error is nothing but we have not provided the gate pulse here right because a is still unknown and that is why that error is shown so let us define a here uh, let us say a is equal to zero degree right now we have defined a now there is no issue here r load will take it and close so we are measuring r load and now we'll start measuring a three phase voltage right you can directly bring and add another signal to the scope you are not supposed to go and add another signal into the scope so now we'll open the scope and if we want to change the view pattern then we can set the layout is like this right so in top we'll get three phase supply voltage and in another section we will get the output voltage now we'll adjust the time uh, i think for 0 0.1 second time it's enough we'll save this file so three phase control rectifies the name of our file now let's run Oh my god the output is very weird this is because we have not set any parameter for the source we have did all the calculation for 50 hertz right gate pulse sequence we have arranged because for 50 hertz and here it is 60 hertz so that is the problem and now let's say phase to phase voltage will keep it as 415 and uh, we are, do not want any internal impedance let's go again and there we go that's right so these are the our three phase voltages and this is our output a dc output now you can even measure the supply current as well as the load current using this branch current branch voltage and branch current if you want to go for more tutorials about matlab simulink then you can refer these playlist and learn so many things about matlab so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye